I am here today with the AK-1 um, from our top manufacturer and I am going to show you how to go from, um, right now it's set to 10 millimeters, so I'm going to show you how to go from 10 millimeters all the way to 18 millimeters and um, then we'll uh, change it back to the factory settings. Um, so just a word of advice before you get started. Make sure you really use your gun, you really understand how to tuft before attempting this. Also, I really don't recommend it for people who don't feel comfortable tinkering with machines. So you're going to be using Allen keys, you're going to be using a wrench, you're going to be doing a lot of measurements and a very, um, very small measurements, you know, a millimeter here and there, or even less than a millimeter. So. If that's something that you feel is going to really irritate you or um, you're just not going to enjoy doing, the factory settings for the AK-1 are fantastic. It's 14 millimeters, which is perfect, absolutely perfect for a normal cut pile rug. Um, you've got lots of space to still carve down to even out your rug, and you can even carve in quite a few details at that setting. So this is just because um, it's obviously a feature of the gun that they say it can go between um, around uh, 10 to 18 millimeters. So this is my all things FE <laughs> attempt to show you guys how, um, how this works in the simplest way possible. And I will be providing a new manual with my tufting guns that has all the measurements for different pile heights. Um, I'm really going to just do three, the shortest, the longest, and then the factory settings. Um, so if you want to tinker in between there, that's totally up to you. Um, but I'll provide the measurements for those settings so that you can kind of do it quickly and easily. Um, you obviously still need to make sure everything's moving correctly, um, but it should make it a bit faster. Okay, so to start, the first thing we want to do is to loosen this um, scissor closer. So I'm just going to go like that and make sure it can move pretty freely. You don't need to take it out, just make sure it can move. And that's just if, um, if you change a setting on the gun and the scissor closer is forcing the scissors close, it can, it can actually like break the scissors if, if um, you're making, if it's not set to the right height for what you're doing. Um, the next one is, um, not everybody does this, but I prefer to do this is to loosen this as well, just because I don't want my scissor opener to break. I don't think it actually matters too, too much with the AK-1. Um, I think that it, it stays generally in the same spot, but this is just my preference. Um, so I take that and move that. So you're not going to be making any adjustments to this top bar. Um, whatever it's at right now is the factory setting and I am not going to change it. So I'll just see what it's at. Um, so that's at 53.5. So we just want it to stay at 53.5 and not change it. All right, so the next step is to move this pusher foot, not the foot of the gun, but this little uh, pusher um, back. So this distance between the, uh, the part of the scissors that sticks out and the distance to this pusher is the pile height. So if I were to measure it right now, whoops, not the best measurement, hang on, it's at 10.2, so that's essentially 10 millimeters, um, and I'm going to be making that distance um, 18 millimeters. So to do that, I'm going to loosen this screw, but you 
need to be very, very careful to only loosen it a little bit because if you over, uh, overly loosen it, the nut that it's connected to on the other side of the gun or inside the scissor, um, kind of inside the scissor cage, you'll have to take this whole chunk off and um, take out the scissors and re screw it in. So I literally do like maybe 180 and then I see if it can be adjusted um, and this is what I use for adjusting the foot just it works these little hammers work so well we do sell them in our shop um, just because you can use this way to move the pusher foot up and then you can also use this way to tap, tap it down so it's not moving super well quite yet so I might loosen this another half turn maybe 90 degrees and then I'm just going to stop so I did probably 270 degrees at most um, of loosening that nut all right so let's see if it moves down now yep so we're gonna have to put it down quite far might have to do a second part here um, so we're at 15.7 but you can see I can't really hit the, the thing down much more um, just because of the bar positioning on the bottom so just, yeah. um, 16.3 I want to go a lot further, so I might just use something else to tap it down. Okay, so that's kind of as far as I can get it at the moment. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to step to the next step, which is to adjust this bar length down here. Um, and so I'm just going to... Um, instead of actually uh, adjusting the bar now, all I'm going to do is loosen this um, screw here. And you want to be really careful when you're loosening these screws because if you pull too hard on this bar and you pull the cogwheel, you can end up warping the cogwheel. So you want to be very, very gentle. So if you're finding that it's just not moving with the factory settings, just unscrew the whole bar so you can unscrew this pull it out unscrew that pull that out and take out the whole bar and um, loosen the this nut um, with the bar actually off I've loosened it quite a bit so it's really easy now for me to take it off so I'm not actually going to set the height of the bar quite yet I'm just going to um, take it off so that essentially I can move this, this whole piece up so that then I can tap this down more to the 18 that we want. Okay, I'm at 17.4. I'm at 18.5. I'm at 18.1 straight up and down. It's with the digital calipers, you can end up sort of doing a, a measurement that's sort of yeah, you kind of want to get it straight up and down if you can, because that's going to be the most accurate. Okay, 18.5, that's a little bit far, so I'm going to just nudge that up slightly. Where am I at now? Now I've gone and pulled it way too far up. So I'm at 16.9. This is what I mean about really incremental changes. Okay, we're at 17.6 again. 
tiny bit more. And then we should be at 18. 17.6. And hopefully that wasn't too far. Okay, brilliant. I'm at 18.1. So that is a really, that's a very close. depending on how I measure it. Sorry, that's actually at 17.7, .7, so I'm going to just a tiny little tap more. So you can see that the foot can keep going back if you want it to, but the problem is, is that the rest of the gun, such as the scissor opener and the scissor closer, um, you'll be at the limit of what the gun can do at 18 millimeters. That's why you cannot put this further back and make a longer pile height. All right. Just gonna do that. Check that again. Okay, 18.3, 18, there we go, sorry. It, with the, the depth of the caliper on here, it is, you do have to measure a few times because it's, it is a bit, a bit awkward of a measurement. So you just want to be, yeah, just do that measurement a few times. Okay, so now that we've got that distance set, before we go and um, lose this sprue, we're going to tighten it down. Remember, we did like about 270 degrees. Um, and that was counterclockwise. So now we're doing clockwise to tighten it nice and tight. So now we won't lose that. Okay. So now we deal with the bar. So basically, what you want to do is you want to move this and set it to a point where you can just fit your smallest allen key in there and that's going to be a beautiful spot for the foot to be um, while tufting. So um, you can see now that the bar is definitely not going to reach there so I have to unscrew this to lengthen the bar. So you want to make sure that you don't, this can obviously come right off the bar. I'll just show you guys. So it can come right off the bar. So you don't want that to be the case. You want to make sure it's still like definitely snug on the bar. Um, otherwise it could get, things could get a little bit um, imbalanced and this could be too loose. So we'll just see where we're at here. I may need to lengthen. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to lengthen this side as well because I want it not to be overly stretched on this side. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to just um, again gently loosen. What I might do is actually take this off because I'm not trusting that I'm not going to muck up the cogwheel. So this is actually a good time to talk about um, the factory setting for this bar. You'll find that the washer should be as close to, oh, it's just come loose now, it should be as close to the center wheel as possible. Um, I think that's how most of them come now. Um, but when you first take that bar off, obviously double check that um, where it, where it was sitting. If it was sitting in the middle, the front, or the back, because obviously that's going to change the bar length. So now that I've got that loose, this one's all nice and loose on this side, but this is not 
Still not moving. All right, that took two wrenches, but I definitely got it loose now. Um, again, once you've loosened it once or twice, it's a lot easier to loosen. So what I'm going to do is now that I've got that nice and loose, I'm going to put um, put it back on so that so the washer goes underneath, and then this goes through there through the washer and into the nut on the other side. And again, you want to make sure the nut is as close to the end as possible. So just give it a little push. And then I will tighten that up. Not too tight, because I just want it on there for now. So now I can basically stretch this bar and this bar. So I have a bit more um, wiggle room without either of them being too far off. So that looks like it's almost bang on what we want. So what I'll do is I'll turn that screw in. Oops, I just realized I did need to put that all the way down because otherwise that's going to move and that's not what we wanted. Let's push that all the way back and then we'll just tighten that up completely. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, so now, sorry, the bar is still a little bit not long enough. So um, I'll just untwist this down a little bit more. One more, two more. Just gonna check. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So that's still fitting. That's good. And so now, get these both these nice and tight against their parts of their arms, and we'll just tighten them up. So for this one, I'm going to bring it towards me to tighten. And again, not wanting to pull too hard on the cogwheel for this one to tighten. It's going to go away from me. I might put the washer on here and then tighten it one more time. So we'll tighten that up. Nice and tight. And then just make sure that that is not going to move. There we go. Okay. Yeah, again, um, you want these tight, but you also don't want to be bending the cogwheels, so just be very gentle. All right, so now we have this pile height, 18 millimeters, and we've got the pusher foot set so that when it's fully forward, so that when that bar is straight, that we can fit the Allen key in. I actually will, you can see that that's actually a bit too much. So I'm going to shorten this bar just a little bit. Um, so what I'll do is go like bring this towards me. So that's how it loosens. And loosen this. It's kind of, this is where it is a bit finicky you just got to keep sort of checking all these different things. It's a lot of different measurements. Okay, so we'll just turn this in maybe two or three times. 
back on. I'll just see how it is. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll actually measure this bar in a second. Because that should be always the length that you need to get to for it to be perfectly set to 18. So that maybe you don't have to finick as or finick. Um, so basically you don't need to be um, have made quite so so many adjustments as I have um, in this video. Okay, tighten. It's nice and tight. That tightens by going away from me. About good. Yeah. All right. Everything feels nice and tight. That is definitely a really good, good position. So now the other things that we need to focus on. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I'll do the measurement of the bar first. Um, so you can see these digital calipers actually like turn off automatically which is great if you're saving the battery and then they just turn on when you're ready to use them so that is 46.8 millimeters so i will write that down Six point eight lower bar. Okay. So putting the scissor opener into its right rightful spot. I'm just going to kind of gauge where the scissors are getting to and sort of loosen this and wiggle it up to where I think around it should go. Okay. So it's going to probably need to be a bit more forward. Put it about there. And actually, I do have a measurement from when I did this before, so why don't we try that one? 19.8. Um, .9. Oh, no, sorry, 18.4. So I can't read my measurements. This is fine it for you guys. <laughs> um, okay. So where are we at there? We're at 19. Okay, we'll, we'll just see how the scissors go. The key is you want the scissors to open wide, but not overly open. Okay, so that's not even opening them. So that is definitely not quite far enough. Probably was 19.8. Again, I'm getting my measurements confused. Okay. There we go. So that opened them a little bit, but not quite the whole way. needs to be a bit further forward. Again, this is where you're like at the limits of the gun. So you have to be very careful. Okay. Check that. 
I just need to go a tiny bit more forward. It's important that you guys see all these mini adjustments because if you want to do any other pile height on your own, you kind of need to need to know how to do all this adjustment or all these adjustments, sorry. Okay, let's just see. Because I just want to make sure that I'm not forcing the scissors open, overly open, because then it's just going to, like, put strain on the scissors and they're going to start to bend. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's take a measurement. So, I'd actually taken this measurement before. <laughs> That's probably why I was not getting it correct. Okay, so it is at 24.8, so we will write that down. That's a scissor opener. All right, this is a closer. So I know from my experience that to close the scissors at this pile height, this needs to be up a lot higher. So I'm going to, um, oh, it's already loosened because we didn't want it to, um, we didn't want um, to break anything while we were making adjustments because you can see how many times we were rotating the cog wheel. Um, okay, so we'll try it near the top. Might be a bit high. Um, you'll feel some resistance if going too much. There we go, they're closing nice. So that's actually a good spot for it because we're at the very limits of the machine. So I don't think I can push it up any more than that. So we'll just tighten it down there, nice and tight. And then I'll just show you guys the scissors are opening and they're closing. Opening, closing. All right, so um, let's just, we've taken that measurement there. So let's just take um, this measurement here for the depth. So this is going to be a positive depth as opposed to negative. So it's 1.6 millimeters above. And that's the scissor closer. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly, whoops, double check this when it's closed. The height is, make sure we're still at 18, thank you for Lance, that's perfect. All right, and now I'm ready to tuft at 18 millimeters. So I will go do that and take a photo of it so you guys can see what it looks like next to the 10 millimeters.